Welcome to Furniture Flipping for Profit. I'm Cynthia. On this channel, I provide instructional videos on how to refinish, restore, and restyle used furniture so, the, so that you can then flip it for a profit. A lot of the furniture that I purchase is laminate. And what I also find is most people don't know how to identify laminate furniture. And what happens is you take that piece of furniture and then it gets refinished incorrectly. And then people write nasty reviews all over the place about how this particular paint didn't do what it was supposed to do. When in reality, you just didn't do it correctly. So let's talk about how to refinish laminate furniture correctly. I'm going to put over this video a particular um, dresser and nightstand that I purchased. Actually, I got it for free um, from, a, from a woman and her mom had refinished it with chalk paint. And I guess she just gave it one coat of chalk paint, but it was laminate and the chalk paint just literally scraped off. It was one of the easiest pieces of furniture I ever had to strip because I just washed it and the chalk paint just came off. So obviously this poor mom didn't know how to finish it correctly. And um, I'm here today to teach you how to do it correctly. So this particular nightstand is a good example of a nightstand or a piece of furniture that is laminate. It's part laminate and part particle board or MDF. I think they're kind of one and the same. The reason I can immediately personally look at it and tell this laminate is because it's very slick on the top and it's got a wood grain finish, but it's just a picture of wood grain. And so that was my first inkling that it might be a laminate. And then if you feel along the edge here, you can actually feel the wood grain. It feels differently. This particular piece of trim right here is actually wood. And I'll show you a close up of that. You can actually see the wood grain on it. So this is wood. You'll sometimes find the drawer fronts of dressers and nightstands are real wood. Sometimes they're MDF, sometimes they're MDF covered with laminate. But again, I'm going to teach you today how to identify that. So this particular piece of trim is wood and this is laminate. This is all laminate right here. So I'm going to give you a close up of this, but right now I'm just going to talk about it. And you'll see the close up. But when you look in the back here, you can see that this is particle board and there's like a little thin layer sandwiched on top. That is the laminate. So that's what you need to look for. There's nothing wrong with laminate furniture. It's of course not a, as high of quality as solid wood furniture, but it's really hard to find solid wood furniture these days. Even in some of the high-end stores, you won't find solid wood furniture. There's a lot of particle board in it. So there's nothing wrong with flipping particle board furniture or uh, laminate coated furniture, you, again, you just have to know how to do it correctly. So the first thing that you always do is identify it, and then I'm going to walk you through all the steps in this video, how to prepare it, how to uh, paint it, so that in the end, you're going to have a very solid piece of furniture that's got a durable finish to it. It's going to last a long time. During the course of all of my videos, as I come across problems with the particular piece of furniture, things that are broken, I show you how to repair those things. There's a lot of different things that can be broken in a piece of furniture. So I someday will probably put together a video about that, but right now it's just on a case by case basis with each individual piece of furniture. So today we're talking about how to finish a laminate piece of furniture or anything that's laminate. Um, I bought uh, some shelves for my closet and they were laminate and they got all scratched up. And uh, the installation so I ended up having to repaint them white to match the rest of the shelves and I just followed the same process that I'm teaching you today so at the very end of this video as usual I'm going to uh, give my recap and give some additional comments so I look forward to seeing you on the flip side I hope you find the video very helpful if you do find anything helpful in the video please please give me a thumbs up that helps support my channel and allows me to continue to provide these videos for you and of course i would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel that way you'll be notified about new videos as they come up uh, i'll see you on the flip side bye
As you just saw, the first step in refinishing laminate furniture is to scuff sand it with 150 grit sandpaper. I wanted to point out a couple of things. As you sand it, pay very close attention to the finish itself. You may have noticed that there were several areas where it was kind of rough. The laminate had chipped off or was peeled off and I sanded it smooth so if, when you run your hand over it, you don't feel that gouge anymore. I also found that this is actually a piece of solid wood along here and it's dented up pretty bad. So I sanded that extra. I think I smoothed it out, but after I have given it a the primer coat, I may still see some gouges, at which point I'll fill that in with wood filler. You'll see me do that if that happens. I'll wait until I put on the primer coat though, because that alone may fill it in. Um, this is also solid wood and this is solid wood. So after you have done the scratch coat, then I took a white cloth and I just wiped it off, a, a lint-free cloth. I wiped off the dust, got rid of it much, as much as possible. And then I took another cloth, which in this video was blue. I sprayed it with a little water just to make it damp. And then I went over to get rid of all the dust. That works very effectively for me. You can also use a tack cloth. Then I switched out the base. The I had it on a towel. And that towel, of course, had dust on it. I want to get rid of as much dust as possible on my work surface so that it doesn't get back on the particular piece of furniture. If you get dust on the furniture in the finish, you're gonna just see it as little bumps and that's one more thing you need to sand down. So I try to minimize that as much as possible. That's why I don't refinish furniture outside. I did some furniture, uh, two sets of furniture outside on a beautiful day, the sun was shining, it dried really fast and then I had a lot of sanding to do because little bits of dust got in the furniture. So I'm lucky because I have an indoor work workspace that I can use. As messy as it is, it's a busy, well-used space, um, and it, it's climate controlled, so it's comfortable for me in here, and I, I can keep down the dust, or I can control the dust, like I explained just now how I did that. So the, I'm gonna show you now, uh, go forward with the next step, which is to apply the primer. Now this has a dark stain on it, and as I said before, this is a wood, this happens to be real wood, so I'm concerned on this particular piece of furniture about bleed through. I'm going to paint this furniture a pale gray. And because it's a light color, the bleed through from the stain could come through to the gray. And that's another thing that people complain about. They say that the chalk paint didn't, didn't cover it well because it, there was bleed through. Well, that's not the chalk paint's fault. That's your fault. You need to prime it to keep um, the stain from coming through. And the best prime for that is an oil-based primer. I usually use a water-based primer, but since this is a dark stain and I'm painting in a light color, I am going to use an oil-based primer. I hate cleaning those brushes. They're just a pain, so I use disposable things. So I'm going to use a roller, a napped roller. That will work very well for me. And then I'm also going to try using a sponge. I've never done that before, uh, but then I can throw the sponge away. So, so I, I'm gonna see how that works today as well. And I always give it two coats. I see people, um, after they finish priming it, I see them starting to paint it with chalk paint and you can still see the brown of the wood. Um, you haven't put enough primer on it if you can still see the wood. So you need to cover it just like it's painted. You shouldn't be able to see the color or minimal, minimal uh, color because it should be visible. Um, so you'll see when I finish with the second coat what it should look like. And then we'll talk about that at the end of that.
just finished putting the first coat of primer on this particular piece of laminate furniture. And I used a sponge, I mentioned earlier, I was gonna use a sponge. I used a sponge on this detail right here. And the sponge that I used was actually a car wash sponge. I cut it into strips and that's what I used to apply the primer. Um, I like these for applying the polyurethane finish that I use on a lot of my furniture, but it really worked well for this. Again, the advantage is now I can throw it away and not have to clean anything. The same with the sponge, the roller that I used, I can throw that away as well. I'm going to put over this video, you'll see a picture of what it will look like um, after it's gotten a second coat of primer. And as I mentioned before, when you put primer on, you need to completely cover it. You can't continue to leave some of the wood sticking out, showing through. Um, that's the best way to apply primer, to prevent the bleed through. So the, I wanted to review a couple of things. The reason you do the scratch coat on the laminate is because you need to rough up the surface to allow the primer to stick to something. The primer is important because that is what allows the paint to stick to the furniture. So it's a layering effect. The scratch coat allows the primer to stick. The primer allows the chalk paint to, to stick. And then I'm going to be putting a sealer on and I use a water-based polyurethane. I like that sealer. It's worked quite well for me. That seals everything in and uh, protects it so that it will be very durable. So it's a combination of processes. It does not take long at all, but it does take you through, you, you know, there's a process you have to go through and don't forget, you have to let everything dry in between. I might forget to mention that during the video. So this has to dry thoroughly before I put a second coat on. The one that I'm showing you over this of the second coat, that was painted yesterday. So I was able to put the second coat on today. And now I'm going to allow the primer to dry two to four hours before I do the second coat, then I'll allow it to dry another two to four hours until it's very dry and then I will sand it and you'll see that in the next step. See you soon.
we made it to the end of the video and I certainly hope it was helpful in learning how to properly paint laminate furniture so that it will be durable and beautiful for years to come. As you can see, there are just a few very simple steps. Scratch it with sandpaper, a scratch coat, and then you put on the primer and then you paint it with chalk paint. And then you can put a finish on it if you like. You can use a polyurethane finish or wax as a finish. I like polyurethane because I think it's more durable. Wax needs to be repeated and needs to be redone, they say every six months or so. And when I sell a piece of furniture, I don't know that I can count on them doing that with the furniture wax, but with the polyurethane, I know that they won't have to do that. So I try to make it as easy as possible for my clients and as durable as possible. So that was my choice, but you can do whatever you want. Those are options for you. I, I do hope that you found something helpful in the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. That helps my channel a lot and it enables me to continue to provide videos like this for you. And then of course, subscribers are the best. So please subscribe as well. I look forward to having you watch additional videos as I produce them. I'm always working on furniture to refinish it, restore it and restyle it, and then flip it for a profit. Bye.